Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm I'm honestly so excited to be filming a video again because I haven't filmed on this channel in so long, but I'm so happy to be back. And today's video is going to be six things that you could do. I don't know why I put up two thumbs, but six things that you could do with dead inventory that just won't move. So if that's something that you guys are trying to learn about or anything then this is going to be the video for you and if you are new to my channel my name is Donna and I just love to make fashion related videos I do like I do clothing hauls boutique videos anything fashion and if you guys have any video suggestions always feel free to leave them down below in the comments also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if this video did help you out so now I'm just going to jump right into it so when it comes to dead inventory i know nobody likes dead inventory that's like everyone's every boutique owner every retailer's worst nightmare because that's always something that you have to figure out like you always have to figure out what you're going to do with that at the end of each season and dead inventory honestly is something that you cannot avoid like if you have an online store you're bound to have or a storefront like it doesn't matter you're bound to have dead inventory so this is something that you need to learn how to work with so I hope that these tips are helpful these tips are things that I did when I had my online store and things that I know that they do now in the industry so I hope that this is helpful so my number one tip is to make sure that you discount the item don't be scared to discount the item especially if you had the item for a really long time and if that doesn't work then put it even lower put the price even lower so if the if you put the price even lower and you're like okay like at this point I'm not even making any money back on this item or these items then what I would suggest is you save it for the next season and then bring it back as a restock and then that goes into my second tip and that is to really promote the item heavy especially on social media whatever social media platform you use the most whichever one that you feel whichever one you feel works the best for you or even all of them I would suggest using all social media platforms like I remember I was using my Facebook and my Instagram I wasn't just using I wasn't just focusing on Instagram I was also using Facebook as well and you could also invest in doing like Facebook ads and you could since Facebook is integrated with Instagram you could also do ads on Instagram to get people to see the product that you're trying to sell so number three if that still doesn't work then I would definitely suggest that you use an app like Poshmark or Mercury or something like that. I actually did a video on 11 apps that you could sell clothing on but I have to refilm it because I actually lost the footage for that so I'm gonna refilm that video but you could use those apps to sell it because at this point what you're trying to do is just get rid of the inventory that won't sell especially especially if you have uh, storage that you're using you're paying storage it's also so important to watch how your inventory is moving throughout the season to see what's really working what's selling what's not selling like whatever you feel is not really selling like that find strategies to really push it out there so that it could get more attention like even if you have like a storefront figure out ways to bring it to the customer's attention you could even do like a bundle kind of thing like maybe if you have like if you have like a lot of bags that you're trying to sell and they just won't move at all you could tell customers like oh spend a hundred dollars and you get a free bag or something like that but just make sure that it works within your means of what you're trying to do so number four is you could do a trunk show and a trunk show is basically like when you go to a n another boutique like a storefront or something sometimes they have them even at sometimes they have them at like hotels or different centers and things like that so just try to figure out where the trunk shows are basically wherever wherever you're located try to find trunk shows that are happening and you could bring your merchandise to that store and you could sell it to people and I remember I first found out about this because I actually interned at this clothing store. It was a clothing boutique and they held a trunk show event and it's trunk show events aren't just 
focused on clothing maybe some of them are but the one that I did it was focusing on like different things like health fitness they also had like tarot card readings so they had a whole bunch of different things there I would definitely suggest that you look into that if that's something that you're interested in and I don't know if you have to pay as a vendor but I believe I'm, I'm thinking that you would have to because you're coming into someone else's store to sell your product so you probably would have to pay for it but that's also another thing that you could do and that's also a good way for you to get other potential customers more people would recognize your brand and see your brand and that's a good way to get exposure as well it's also a good way for people to find out about your clothing brand okay so number so number five is you can attend a street fair so i actually did this this was in september of 2018 i did upload a video on youtube as well showing that experience and it was honestly really really fun it was a lot of fun if you guys live in new york city or brooklyn you know you probably know about the atlantic antique street fair that happens every fall so i ended up applying for that i, I think i applied to it because i just remembered like every fall they would do this and i was just like okay so how could i get my stuff sold there you know because you get so many different customers walking past people like I actually did make a lot of sales and I met a lot of people through there a lot of people ended up following my Instagram at the time from there because I was also doing like a giveaway so that made people follow my Instagram so just try to find strategies like that it's also a good way to get rid of your dead inventory because a lot of people are passing by someone is bound to see it and be like I love it and want to buy it so and when it comes to street fairs you do have to pay for them so I definitely would suggest that you are prepared and ready to pay out of pocket because I think the street fair was like around 300 to 400 dollars but it was definitely worth it because I got exposure and I was able to make that money back and if you want to know about like other street fairs going on around you then what you could do is just google like street fairs and it should pop up because most of the time they will put up the listing three months in advance and then that's when you could go to apply so lastly <laughs> If none, if none of these things work for you and you're just like, I'm so tired of sitting on this inventory, then I would definitely suggest that you just donate it because there's really nothing else that you could do after this. Um, there's also something called liquidation and I've never done it before so I don't know how that process is but I know that retailers could do that. I don't know what the requirements are but you can look into that. So I remember I actually ended up donating some of the clothing that I had left over from my online store and that was because I was just so tired of sitting on the inventory and I was just so frustrated just looking at it and I didn't feel bad about it because I'm like at least I know that someone else is using this so I ended up donating it and I mean I didn't feel too bad about it in the end I felt like it was a good choice that I made so I'm really I'm still really happy with the decision that I made to donate it so if that's something that you guys want to do I definitely suggest that you do that and I hope that this video was helpful because I remember when I had my online store I was always searching up different things that in different scenarios that may happen when having an online store and every time I would look up what to do with dead inventory because I remember when I was at FIT we always would talk about dead inventory and how bad it was for your brand and how stressful it would be for companies and I was just like okay so how could I make sure that I don't have any dead inventory and the truth is it's bound to happen you're going to have dead inventory when you have an online or brick and mortar store so it's just up to you what you want to do with it and it's really no straight answer that I could give but I, I know a lot of people they want to hear like they want to hear ways that they're able to make the money back somehow but most of the time if you are sitting on dead inventory you're already lowering the price significantly and most likely you're probably going to donate it or you could even save it for a photo shoot or something that's also a good thing that you could do so that you could have like extra pieces for your models or whatever to wear and 
that's just something that you could do with it um yeah and thank you guys so much for watching this video also i just want to mention at the end of this video i know like a lot of people are really anxious really scared right now because of everything happening in the world and i don't i don't even know what to say about everything like i'm i feel so i feel like I feel so heartbroken for the world right now, but I'm going to leave some pet <laughs> I'm going to leave some petitions down below that you guys could sign and just some information that some things that you guys could do to um to really help the community right now. I have been posting on the community tab if you guys haven't been keeping up with the community tab. I just have been like giving you guys updates on different situations different things that you could do to help out and also if you guys want to keep up with me on instagram definitely click the link down below because i'm going to be posting way more on instagram now i'm trying to grow my instagram platform because i always wanted to but now i'm actually like okay i'm gonna take it more seriously so if you guys want to follow me just hit the link down below i'm gonna put the link down there and you guys could check out my profile out. yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful my voice is so scratchy because i got absolutely no sleep last night and it's 10 51 a.m i'm just so tired but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video